2023 was the year that uh, I don't know what to say for calendar jokes anymore because it's now fully functional and there's no stupid virus trying to go ahead and take my calendar away for like years. It also was the year that I moved out of the building that I was living in into a bigger, better one. With me having my own bathroom, this is also the year that I went to Europe for the first time and I got to see how differently people in the UK do things versus what we do here in the States and it was very interesting to see. This was also the year that I did a lot of improvising at my summer job because things kept on breaking but I mostly had a good attitude about it. We also had a fly invasion too so it was a lot of flies biting and whatever whatnot. This was also the year that tested a lot of my friendships and a really good friend of the channel decided not to be in my life anymore. More. I'm not gonna mention the situation because I don't want fight to break out but I want to thank all of my friends that were faithful and stuck by my side and I even made some new ones. This was also the year that I realized that channel breaks are important and resting is okay. 2023 was also the year that I decided to be more open about being neurodivergent on the channel and decided to be more open about transitioning and gender. This was also the year that my original computer for the channel died and I got a new one. And then later on, my drawing tablet's cord got frayed, so I got a new drawing tablet as well. 2023 was also the year that I got a job at where I'm currently living as well as my school. This is also the year that I ended up accidentally eating more fast food than I expected to. Whoops. This was also the year that I finally figured out what kind of environments make me feel overstimulated. This is also the year that I ended up taking more traditional drawing classes through a professional class, which we did a way more charcoal work than I expected. Also, charcoal was way messier than I thought. This was also the year that we ended up doing more holiday events than we did in previous years, like seeing lights and whatever whatnot. But yeah, overall 2023 wasn't the best year, but I have a great feeling that 2024 is going to be way better.